Hello, welcome back. This video is going to take me months because what I'm going to do is refine all these connectors. The pins are only on the top. There's some pins at the bottom as well, but in the middle. Just move these over. These are from RAM slots, obviously. I've taken the plastic off, cut around them. But under this, it's just... So you've got, like, Ethernet. Um, it's all in layers. I've got a layer of just IDE nice ones as well um, I've probably got a, I've got a few kilos of these Ethernet everyone hates those because the pins take forever but I'm just gonna be putting all this in copper chloride and uh, washing all the gold off after there's gonna be about five boxes of these so we're just gonna do one box at a time and I'll just keep saving the files and once it's all done I'll do all the files all at once and we're fine so weigh this and we just refine this to begin with. Wow, well, just recover the files. So just put it on the scales. 5.75 kilos here. And then that should be enough to fill my box, just because I don't have enough acid to do it all. Uh, I'll be back once it's all done, I guess. So it's all in acid. Obviously you remove any steel, otherwise that'll wreck it. There's also some, alu some aluminium in there, which shouldn't be, because it's got a little bit of bubbling, but we'll leave that there for about a month. Come over here. As you can see, just use a uh, old t-shirt as a filter works well, nice and fast and it always catches all the gold. So I continue this with all the acid. It slows down over time, the more and more you do it, the slower it goes through. Whilst that's filtering, I'm washing all this, it's all been washed and basically all I'm doing, and that's all, it's not got no acid on it anymore. Just put it in the water, give it a little shake. Some of the stuff I'll stick back in acid if it has any metal, even if it's not got any gold on it. Sometimes the uh, gold just gets covered by bits of rubbish, as you can see. Some gold foils from that so far. So I'll just go through it all, give it a shake. As you can see, see there's still metal in there, so that can go back in. And I'll just do this with it all. See all the gold foils coming off. See the loads come off already. A lot faster than uh, actually doing it all by hand, taking all the pins out by hand. I'll come back once I've finished all this. What we filtered, we filtered all this. It's quite a big filter, you can see, the size of my hand next to it. That's all gold foils. And I've also got a second filter, not quite as much, but there's some. And then this was the stuff which still had some gold pins attached or hadn't quite dissolved and you could see some gold foils not attached so that's all going back into the acid and then I'll also add a bunch more connectors and we'll wait another month and a half or however long it takes for that lot to dissolve and then maybe add another lot if I have more, if not then we'll uh, do a refining, see how many grams of gold we can get. Welcome back to my channel, we've done two videos today but... So that's my ceramic oscillators. In this video we'll be doing these from connectors. There was a lot of um, acid, so I had to use this to filter it. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a dirty refine, but it'll be fine. So we'll start the acid and see how it goes. So the uh, stuff from the connectors are in the acid. Um, it's on the hot plate, just starting, so I'll keep away. So I've got that on top, so no not as many fumes go through. So it's got hydrochloric acid in there and sodium, uh, no, nitrate salts.
So I'm just filtering the gold out here. At the bottom, I won't fil filter the um, gold dust. We're just filtering the acid for any floating bits which are there, just so you can save them for future. So I'm now um, washing it with hydrochloric acid on heat to um, get it nice and pure, and then we'll mount it up in a bit and see what it looks like. So this is the uh, end gold. It's probably only like 95% pure. You can see it's not a very good colour. I have uh, refined it twice and washed it in hot hydrochloric so I don't know why it's that colour. So I'm just going to refine it again because I've just finished with the hydrochloric. And just see what happens. Um, let's go a fair bit. So we'll weigh it up now and see what we got. So that's our end result. 0.59 grams of gold. Once perfectly pure it's probably half a gram. So it's not too bad considering that it's mostly uh, trashy plastics and the pins weren't exactly the best. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on any video ideas you have. Thank you, bye bye.